Before you start printing, always make sure you have your name written on your papers. Take the acetate off of your jelly plate and then put it under your chair for safekeeping. You're going to be using less ink for these layers than your first layer. Notice I'm only putting five small dots of ink on my jelly plate. I want the ink to be thin so I can see my base layer show through. Then using a piece of chipboard, I'm going to make some marks in the ink. Another technique for making marks is wiping away the ink with a wet wipe. Once the wet wipe is full of ink, just open it up, fold it in on itself, wrap it around your finger again, and then continue wiping. Use your registration board to make sure your prints line up. And remember to take a little peek to make sure that you've rubbed enough of the ink onto the paper. In this layer, I was able to create a foreground and a background using two different tools. Every time you pull a print, reflect compassionately and constructively. So what does that mean? Be compassionate. Don't be so hard on yourself if it doesn't come out the way that you expect. Be constructive. What is the lesson or the thing that you've learned for your next print? This is a perfect example. Here, I thought I would mask using these silk flowers, but when I pulled my print, the flowers didn't really come through, but that's okay. I can just cover it up with another layer. My color scheme so far has magenta and yellow and orange. So I'm opting to do a complementary color scheme. So I'm using the cyan with white. For this layer, I'm using the chipboard to spread my ink instead of the brayer. I'm also using the chipboard to draw different marks and wipe away some of the ink. This is going to add a layer of interesting texture to my print. This time when I mask, I've chosen to use flatter leaves and flowers. And when I was repositioning this cluster of leaves, I noticed that it left an imprint. So what was originally a mistake turned out to be a new discovery. Remember, be patient. Peel back the edges of your print to make sure that the ink has transferred the way that you want it to. Even though I used splatter flowers this time, I was still having to press down on the edges to make sure that the details of the leaves really showed through. And now for the big reveal. I'm glad I tried it again because I really like this print. For my last layer, I'll be stamping. So I'm using my jelly plate to roll out my ink and using bubble wrap to stamp a visual element to unify everything together.